With a 30 to 13 win over the Redskins at the StubHub Center Sunday, the Chargers are now over 500 for the first time since 2015 and still relevant in this AFC West playoff push. For the San Diego Union Tribune, he's columnist Kevin AC. I'm Annie Heilbrunn. Kevin, as we were watching this game today, both of us noticed just how quiet it was in the StubHub Center, even as the Chargers made one good play after another. It's quite a contrast from what you might expect in San Diego. Right, and what you mentioned is, is what made it stand out even more. Is exactly. This was like old times, like Keenan McCardell and uh, Vincent Jackson and LT running around on the field. The Chargers were scoring at will. A little too many uh, field goals versus getting in the end zone, but this game was never in question. They, they ran over them. They're on a roll. They've won four games in a row, seven of the last nine. This was like old times, except for this place is like a library. I mean, quiet, like a, like a mouse in church, quiet. And, and it was just kind of weird at times. Right. What the difference is, is earlier in the season, Eagles, Dolphins, Chiefs, Broncos, you had opposing fans that took over. Yeah. Now this is an L.A. crowd yeah. with a team that L.A. doesn't really care about. It, look, that it is what it is. It doesn't change how much money's going into Dean Spano's pocket. Right. The fact is, though, that the players, and there's only two of them that have been here long enough to remember what the old days in San Diego were like, they, they noticed. I think the narrative also is that with wins, more people will come and it will get to be this, this amazing atmosphere. And so far, and even when we talk to people that report full-time in Los Angeles, they say, not unless they win consistently big. It's early, really early. I mean, I, I think we could next year say it's still early. I mean, this fight for L.A. is ongoing. We all want it right now. Here's the, the, the important thing, I guess, is they would need to keep winning and be exciting like this, yeah. as in putting up 30-plus, because that's what the Rams are doing across town. All right, Chargers head to Kansas City on Saturday. They face the Chiefs. It's coming down to all the marbles, kind of, in this Saturday game. Big game, right? Well, basically, if they win in Kansas City and then they win in New York, then they are going to win the AFC West and have a home playoff game. That is really what it's looking like. Uh, now, if they lose in Kansas City, it's not over. We've seen what Kansas City's capable of in terms of, you know, dropping the ball this year. But this, ne this is what, again, speaking of old times, this is one of those December games against an AFC West rival you know, in Kansas City. Uh, I know that the players were already talking about it in there. A lot of the guys in that locker room have never experienced a big game like that. Yeah, who would have thunk it after starting the season 0-4, but here we are. Big game Saturday. We'll see what happens then.